Hi, my name is Lynn Porter, aka The Het Woman, and I'm talking to you today about ADHD and the effects that dietary influences have on this condition. Now, I don't believe from my experience that diet is the whole picture, but it certainly fills in a few of the jigsaw puzzle pieces. Nobody knows exactly what the causes are. ADHD but we certainly understand what some of the effects are. So if you're going to look at improving your child's behaviour with dietary impact what do you need to look at? Well first of all the most important thing is to look at any sensitivity or intolerance or allergy to additives and by additives I mean colourings like tartrazine which is known to cause hyperactive behavior preservatives like sodium benzoate again known to cause hyperactive behaviors in children and also flavor enhancers like MSG monosodium glutamate again another culprit and uh, unfortunately these things cause addictions to food which goes some way towards creating trends like the concern in childhood obesity that uh, we're looking at these days and finally of course artificial sweeteners like aspartame which are no neurotoxins which you know, we know creates problems with the children's nervous system with this particular condition. So I've produced another short video on how to do very easy simple fun tests with your child to see if this is the case and if you suspect that your child does have a sensitivity to any of these additives, then to keep a food diary, to look at eliminating them from the diet and then to reintroduce them later. The second biggest impact you can have on diet with your child's behaviour is to look at sourcing local produce. Fresh produce, freshly grown, organic, there are lots of good box delivery schemes setting up all over the place now that you can access because the problem is that food, commercial food today is so highly processed, there's very little natural goodness left in it and it creates a build up, a deficit in your child of good nutrition that they need for healthy growth and development. The third thing that you can do is address the years of nutritional deficiency through bad diet and that is by putting in a really good program of nutritional supplementation. Now vitamins for example will vary in quality considerably from the synthetic chemically produced cheap end of the market to the quality cold pressed food derived organic nutritional supplements at the other end. So this little presentation looks in a little bit more detail at these three simple things that you can do to improve your child's ADHD condition through diet. I think it's really important to, to say that um, a healthy diet is uh, fundamental to healthy development in children certainly all the way through to adulthood um, but I think that what you need to recognize also is that a lot of food these days are processed so much that a lot of the key um, healthy components, vitamins and minerals, uh, trace minerals, um, are processed out of the food. So, for instance, in the old days, bread used to be a very available source of nutrition, but because mm. of the flour is so uh, processed and bleached these days, the number of vitamins and minerals in there are vastly reduced. So I think it's important to, to note, in, because of the, the predominance of processed food, that these uh, food supplements are extremely important and beneficial to childhood development because it re first of all replaces uh, what's lost um, through over-processing but also particularly where there's a long history of a bad diet mm. it all but also enables the body to recover and detox um, a lot faster so that it, it, it's able to start off from a from a healthy start as opposed to um, having to backtrack to resolve all the um, consumption of processed foods in the past. Like you say, you go into a shop and you get hit by confusion. Yeah, you want you to do the best for your kids, but how do you know whether it's this pot of vitamin C or not? You don't. Okay. People don't generally don't do that. That's the problem. They need to be told about it. What should they be looking for? And what can we do to get that message out? Well. To be honest, what they really need to be looking for is, is the ingredients in the products. I mean, if you look at our products, the Nature Sunshine products, 
they are like I said they are all raw natural ingredients you know there's there's no rubbish in there you know there's nothing that's going to harm do you more harm than good and all the act, all the active ingredients do work in harmony with one another you know you might buy other products and you know, they've got they say they've got this and they say but if you look at the actual content of them they're not really doing anything mm. that's that's the main issue I've got with you know, products. What about you, Chelsea? What do you feel might make a change or a difference to the way you go about things after today? I could exercise more and eat less fatty foods and start more e eating more organic stuff. That would be good, yeah.